Okay, we're looking at four forces acting on a point O. Six newtons vertical, ten newtons to the right, four newtons to the left at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal, and ten newtons below the horizontal and at 39 degrees to the vertical line there. What we want to do here is convert everything into horizontals and verticals using resolving of the two diagonal forces. So we've got a 10 newton horizontal, a component of the 4 newton horizontal, a component of the 10 newton horizontal. We also have vertical forces, a 6 newton vertical and a vertical component of the 4 and a vertical component of the 10. What we want to do is write a horizontal equation that will sum up all the horizontals. So we want a sum of all horizontals and I'll take positive uh, forces to the right in this case. It means we have to put anything to the left. Negative. You can see we've got a 10 to the right, it'll be positive. And then those two components will have to be written in as negative. So we end up with an equation that's got 10 plus negative 10 sine 39. That's this blue force, the 39 represents in here, the, this blue force is opposite to that, so 10 sine 39 will give us the size of this, and then we have to put a minus sign in to rec recognize that it's pointing to the left, we're taking to the right to be positive. And the same is true of the other force, the value of it's going to be 4 cos 30, but because it points to the left we have to put in a minus sign, so 30 is in here, this blue force is adjacent to the 30, so it's cos 4 times the cos of 30 will give us this value, but we put the negative sign in to indicate that it points to the left. We then do a calculation and find that that gives us an overall total of 0.24 positive answer, which means it points to the right. Then we do the same thing for the vertical forces, summing up all the vertical forces. Okay, so... Um, Vertical forces being summed up look like this. We've got the 6 and we've got the 4 sine 30 and we've got the 10 cos 39. Because the 6 and the 4 sine 30, these two both point up, they get both positive signs. But we have to take account of this force, the 10 cos 39 degrees. Uh, it points against our positive direction. We're taking up to be positive. So because it's down, it has to get a minus sign. And that comes to 0.23 newtons. What we do now is we combine those two, the horizontal total, the vertical total, and that will give us an overall resultant force that represents the sum of all of these original forces. Remember, this is the sum of all the horizontal bits, this is the sum of all the vertical bits, and we combine those by adding the two vectors together to give us a resultant force. Now we need to find the properties of that resultant, and we do that by using just Pythagoras' rule. This is a right angle triangle. This will be the square of RT will be the sum of these two uh, values squared. So we can do that calculation. And if we do that calculation, we find that R is the square root of those two values squared and added, which comes out to be 0.33 of a newton. We can also find this angle theta that it makes with the horizontal and it turns out to be the inverse tan of 0.23, which is opposite to theta, over 0.24, which is adjacent. Remember, tan theta is opposite over adjacent. And so if we take the inverse tan of that, we get the angle, which is 44 degrees to the horizontal. So we find that all of these forces come down to a single force that represents their value. Remember, that's what a resultant is, of 0.33 newtons at 44 degrees above the horizontal here. And so that force replaces all of the forces that were originally in the problem. That's it.